Hi everyone, uh, this is my uh, DSO project. Uh, this project is uh, meant to be open source in, uh, in the future, but uh, at the moment uh, uh, it's just uh, a work of uh, a few weeks, maybe four or five weeks. Uh, well, it's, uh, it's only capable of uh, basic things like uh, just uh, showing uh, various forms of uh, waveforms and uh, uh, well, let's uh, let's uh, start to see what it's uh, really capable of. Uh, you can see the the trigger level. Uh, well, it's it's integrating a, a touch panel so that you can easily uh, switch among the various uh, uh, functions just by uh, pushing on the on the touch panel. Uh, you can see that uh, the uh, the trigger level is uh, changing. And uh, the waveform is uh, moving uh, left or right. Uh, if I move it outside the amplitude range of the uh, waveform, it does what it should do. Uh, the because um, there's no there's no rising edge. Uh, when I when I change the trigger level, you can see the uh, change right there. Okay, uh, let's go to the uh, the cursors. You can just uh, put it on the uh, amplitude. Just see the the amplitude of uh, of any uh, uh, any waveform. Uh, just like you can do the same with the uh, time cursors. You can see all the changes right here: the uh, x axis and the y axis. Uh, well, uh, at the moment uh, I can only do uh, I can only change the um, time per division. Look at that. And this is pretty much all it can do. Uh, let's go to see uh, some. Uh, uh, nice things about the precision. It looks pretty good to me. Uh, I'm uh, supplying uh, from a signal generator the uh, 20 kilohertz uh, signal. You can see the frequency right there, here on the bottom, and the uh, the RMS value. Look at that. No matter how I. Uh, I increase the the frequency. The RMS value stays uh, well, um, relatively the, the same. Even if I go out to 1.1 megahertz, uh, well, I, I I won't go uh, higher because this is just um, um, uh, this is just a, a project based on the on a STM32 F4 discovery board, which uh, I'm just using one channel uh, with a maximum uh, sampling of uh, 2.3 uh, mega samples. So uh, this is pretty much the the highest frequency that, that it can uh, measure. Let's go down to 20 kilohertz. I'm currently sampling 5,000 uh, samples. Uh, well, the, the precision of the uh, the frequency is uh, is quite good. Um, well, it's it's not uh, like the uh, precision of a frequency meter. You know, well, when you where you get precision four or five uh, decimals, uh, something like that. Uh, anyway, at the moment it can uh, calculate some uh, values like uh, the the RMS value, the the, the frequency max. Maximum and minimum values. So peak to peak, uh, peak, uh, the duty cycle. Well, it mostly uh, makes sense uh, when you uh, when you are when you are counting a, a rectangle, uh, a pulse, uh, any any uh, pulse signal, and the uh, the period. Okay, let's go down to the. One millisecond.
well, this is now it starts to make sense. Uh, this is a 50 hertz signal. You can you can see the uh, uh, the calculated value on at the bottom. And now we have uh, 100 hertz. Uh, you see that the values is uh, are quite accurate. Well, it, the uh, the code needs to be um, uh, improved. Um, that's for granted. But anyway, it it looks pretty good for now. Well. Um, I will um, I will start a, a new website. I uh, can't tell you the domain right now, uh, and it will uh, be it will regard this uh, this project. Uh, it will uh, uh, probably give uh, the uh, the code and everything because it's an open source. But uh, right now I'm still in uh, uh, in the developing process. I need some time to uh, um, to get down to uh, some something that's gonna be a little bit more uh, reliable that um, you can see right here. So, so that that's all for now, folks. Uh, I will um, get back to you when uh, this project looks a little bit better than uh, what you see here. Thanks for uh, listening. Bye bye.